What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Deck No Buffalo here with an unboxing of the RIM BlackBerry Playbook. This is one of my favorite devices at CES. I'm happy to finally get my hands on the production model. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this guy just got delivered from the folks at Negri Electronics. There's a lot to like about it. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Of course, obligatory senior stabby will cut the tape. Tape has been cut. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll run through all the specs and all that business as we go. Tape is harder to cut than I expected. Alright, now we've got that officially opened up. Got a lot of packing peanuts in here. Here is the Blackberry Playbook. Push all those peanuts off to the side. Peanut gallery. There we go. Go ahead and open it up. Here is the Blackberry Playbook. Pretty thin package, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and run through some of the highlights, and I'll run through the rest of the specs. This is a 7-inch tablet. Uh, it's a lot smaller than the rest of the tablets on the market, or at least some of the uh, more popular tablets. So it's, if it's your niche, this is going to be a perfect size tablet for you. It's sort of in between the 10 inch and the 4.3 inch smartphones. This is a 16 gigabyte model. It's gonna come in 16, 32, and 64 models. Uh, so here's a picture of the device on the front. Blackberry Playbook with the RIM logo. All kinds of specs and legal information. But enough of that, let's go ahead and dig in since I'm really curious to get my hands on this. Got the Blackberry logo. Go ahead and open it up. At least attempt to. There's more plastic. So we bust out the cutter and we will hack this sucker open. There we go. One more piece. A boom. Go ahead and lift this up. There is the playbook. Quite small, actually, and a nice uh, neoprene sleeve. You're also going to get playbook. If I was RIM, I'd say the playbook rules, which would be kind of funny for me. Uh, so this is make sure you're in an area with Wi-Fi coverage, press the power button, follow the on-screen instructions. And I've got that in a few different languages. We're also going to have power. Let's go ahead and see how this guy's charge. I'm going to go ahead and open this up somehow. There's a lot of stuff to cut with this. Let's go ahead and hack this open. And we'll take a look at the tablet very quickly. Slowly opening this up. All right. We're going to have your wall charger, of course, which is, what kind of port is this going to use? It's got... Look at that, micro USB, which is quite nice, and a USB cable. I got some documentation and CDs, but enough of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tablet, since this is what I am most excited about. It is much smaller than I expected. All right, so now that we've got RIM's tablet out of the box, let's go ahead and take a look. Here we've got the 7-inch screen. There's a 3-megapixel front-facing camera with the LED status indicator. If we flip this thing back on its butt, we're going to see the 5 megapixel 1080p shooting camera on the back, soft touch feel, and the Blackberry logo. That's a small mirror. You can kind of see yourself. On the bottom is where a lot of the action is going to happen. We've got a dock connector, HDMI out, and your micro USB charging port. It's going to tell you what size you have here. This is the 16 gigabyte model. Go ahead and flip it over on the top. You've got a very recessed power button. You've got your play and pause button and volume up and down. 3.5 millimeter headset jack with microphone in. And that is really it for the size of the BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, there's a lot packed in here. Uh, the screen resolution is 1024 by 600, which is WSVGA. As I mentioned, it's got that four finger multi-touch, which is kind of neat. It's got a one gigahertz TI built dual core processor. So that's one gigahertz on each core. It's got one gig of RAM, the cameras that we mentioned. It's got the BlackBerry Tablet OS, which is powered by QNX, which is really a sneak preview of what we're going to see in the next generation uh, BlackBerry operating systems. It's got true multitasking. If you've ever seen uh, the Playbook videos, you're familiar with WebOS. To close applications, you sort of swipe them off, and they actually do continue to run in the background. Full flash support, and of course, HTML5. 
the HDMI video out on the bottom. Uh, some of the glaring omissions, however, with the playbook, uh, there is not a native mail or calendar application yet. Those are coming soon. They're also becoming soon will be full support for Android applications. Go to pick this up in 16, 32, or 64 gig configurations for $4.99, $5.99, or $6.99 respectively. Let's go ahead and bring in a real quick size comparison. Here is the iPhone 4 to sort of see how small this really is. You can see the on-screen keyboard there popped up. Let's also bring in one of the Playbook's competitors, the iPad 2, got right here for a comparison. You can see how small the 7-inch screen really is on the Playbook. Uh, this is very portable, really something that you could carry with you, almost throw into a jacket pocket. It's something that wouldn't say jeans unless you're wearing some big baggy jeans, but it's got a really nice feel to it. I'm curious how the 7 inch screen is going to react and how it's going to work uh, having a screen smaller than I am used to. Anyway guys, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. We're going to be putting this guy through a ton of paces and a lot of reviews coming up. So anything that you want to see in particular about the BlackBerry Playbook, be sure to leave your message down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.